Thank you for joining another episode of Noise and Soul Said. I hope I sound better this time because apparently for the past two episodes, I have been using the mic wrong. I have been speaking through the back. Um, hopefully this gets or my audio uh, feedback or my audio. I don't even know what to call it. The audio being captured by my PC is enough. Uh, isn't I mean isn't isn't good enough probably uh, is good enough for the next recording. Um, yeah, so today we will be talking about things you guys do to relax or de-stress. I've asked this question on my um, basically on all on all of my socials, but most of the answers we got are from my IG post again. Uh, thank you very much for everyone that has sent in their answers or commented on that particular post. I hope my voice is not shaky because from the monitor, it feels like uh, it's going in and out. So hopefully all is good. So basically the question um, we have is, how do you guys de-stress aside from eating? Okay, let's just go ahead and pull up the question. Wait, where is... I forgot to set things beforehand. Again, as usual. So aside from eating, what what do you do to de-stress? I even had trouble trying to find out how to spell de-stress correctly. I had to Google. Also, hi to Lucy. He's named after Lucifer Morningstar, so I call him Lucy. Um... Yeah, thank you for joining another episode of Noise and Soul Set. Okay, for those who's watching or listening through Anchor, I do apologize if you don't see Lucy, but yeah, if you do, it's just the octopus that you has that has two faces. One's uh, happy and the other one's like mad. If you want to see it, you can just wait for the a video version by tomorrow. <laughs> um. Okay, where's the window with the question? Yeah, and uh, thank you for everyone that has commented on the my post. Uh, hopefully, I get to adapt this photo. I mean, to adopt this as uh, suggestions of yours. So I'm just gonna flash the question really quickly, and then um, I'm gonna show the response I got. Oh, that's not how you do that. Oh my gosh. Uh, I am going to show the responses. I did save it on a different. I've saved them by, you know what, or I could just keep it here. That's fine. <laughs> Switch that here. Okay. Um, so aside from eating, how do you guys de-stress? Um, oh yeah, I do have another answer that's uh, sent to me via um, messages. So you might not get to. I, I'll try and flash that in, in, in a way. Okay. So aside from eating, how do you guys de-stress? So the first reply I actually got is from um, Demarge. Uh, she says here that, oops, um, pre-pandemic road trips, staycations, post-pandemic cleaning house, um, car, and the rest. Um, yeah, uh, there's a reason why I'm able to put out a few information, like few blogs. Uh, it's because of Demarge. That's how she is usually. And I'm thankful that I get to go go with the ride, you know, and I get to ride. Yeah, I guess these are tips for me. So, uh, cleaning the house, I will try my best. But if you check, actually, the, the responses there, it's just me telling her that if she says, come over and clean my room when she's stressed, and then I realize my mom's not going to let her in, because she, my mom's going to be mad at me for letting people come into my room when it's a crazy mess. Okay, and the next one we have uh, that answered my question is Karen. She is the mom from um, uh, Life with the Boscos. You should remember her because she did join the podcast last time. Um, I'll add the link to the description. Uh, I mean, I'll add her uh, the link to her podcast in the description below, you guys. Check it out. Also, check out their um, YouTube channel. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so her reply is before I 
uh, before I go far away, uh, sweet escape, ganon. Um, but with the current pandemic, it with the current pandemic, uh, Netflix and chill with booze on the side. Yes, drink moderately. But yeah, if your area and you do feel relaxed with a bit of alcohol, uh, you could do that, but just uh, with moderation. And as long as you're of legal age and you're allowed to drink, you know? Um, yeah, I've just heard that most of the answers I got from uh, this, uh, this post are people who want to go out uh, and like explore new places and relax without thinking about uh the current situation like work wise and stuff. I think I I kinda wanna do that as well. That's how I, I, I think I de stress as well. I leave the house. <laughs> okay. And next is um Sharon oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's a Sharon Deputy. I'm, I'm in my head it's like sh- I Sharon Deputy. I'm sorry. I if I butcher that I used her name. So before pandemic, I like how most of the answers have before pandemic and um, like pre-pandemic and then post-pandemic or current, like during the pandemic. Well, that's how we are uh, right now. I really hope that this stops soon. So, um, Isharan Deputy, before pandemic, going out with friends during the pandemic, it's Netflix, online games, and Shopee. Shopee is basically an online store in the Philippines. I think there is also one in there's they have their branches in other Asian countries. But yeah, I also do that. Um, but sometimes it gets me it gets me stressed. But yeah, the one thing I do miss uh, when it comes to distressing is uh, seeing my friends. Give me one second. It's noisy. Yeah, I think most people miss being able to de-stress with, uh, de-stress by seeing their friends or getting to chit-chat with them. Uh, I see. And then, um, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Um, did you guys see it well? So, um, I call her a posto On Facebook, she this person is I because I'm not sure of the gender please don't be mad at me also it's nice I'm gonna reintroduce her because this is very special I think it it say is how you pronounce this one it 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 is it I guess is uh, the one that drew this particular um, logo or art piece of my logo um, I got I commissioned them to do it for the podcast and um, they delivered pretty well. I love using it now. I am asking a few other people to draw uh, the logo uh, according to their artwork because I want to be able to share that as well. So yeah, I call them help boss. Uh, they are the artists of the Emilio uh, okay, you know what I'm just gonna pull out that page because I can't. I think Emilio Jose Andres, which is the Planet Pluto on Facebook. They are the artists of that one. Emilio Jose Andres del Pilar is the Facebook page of this particular artist that deals with like the Philippine history and such. You should go check her out. Her art is pretty, pretty, pretty. Like it's good. You should, you should know because my this particular logo is done by her. I done by them. I mean. So I, uh, um, for her post, uh, they advise that definitely, uh, drawing and illust- definitely draw and illustrate, even if I'm doing a big piece, it helps me relax during the coloring bit. <laughs> I, I I replied to this because I did say yeah, something about coloring helps. I kind of enjoy coloring, even though I don't follow how you should be coloring a few things you know if it's a leaf if i want to color it blue it's gonna be blue and that's a it's a it's my coloring book so yeah um it's actually nice to get responses as well from people that i don't really talk to net like not exactly my friends but acquaintances through um ig 
Um, the next answer we got is from, I think this is the uh, IG page that sells stuff. But you can go check it out. Uh, I'm not sure if they do uh, the pasabay kind of um, selling. So they, I think there might be a, uh, a, a flight attendant that goes to a particular place and you could order from them. And they'll deliver that to you or have it delivered to you once they are back in the country. So uh, the Butte Unlimited, I cannot, I'm not sure, hopefully that's the right uh, username. Um, Butte Unlimited answered workout bit. It releases your endorphins, which is our happy hormone. As you can see, I, I basically out myself by saying thanks for answering, but workout hurts me. But I do try. I try. I try to do with like stretching and all, but sometimes it's just, it's just, it hurts. I mean, I don't stretch enough, I guess. I'll try. I did, I did promise um, Karina from the, <laughs> from, from the yoga blog that I will try to at least um, practice yoga uh, in some point, at some point. I did say I'm gonna try out one time. Uh, okay, let's see. Do I have another? Okay, so that's about it. I don't have any other um, replies from this post. Shine did reply to me through um, the messages. Uh, she did say that she distressed by watching BTS as expected of uh, a BTS fan. Um, I do kind of listen to music when I do want to relax as well. Okay, let me switch. I don't want you guys seeing this with photo. That's kind of weird. It's just right there. <laughs> oh wait, oh you don't see that? Yeah, good thing I switched it. I see it, so we're gonna switch. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, so yeah, those are the things people replied uh, of what they do when they're stressed. Um, and hopefully some of them are the things you want to try or you're actually doing. Um, yeah, uh, I won't take long. It's so, oh wait, no, not take long. I have to, what else do I do to, what else do I do to relax besides from sleeping? Um, I don't do, I don't think I do stress buying, like checking um, this, uh, like Shopee or Lazada, I only check them when I do really need something. Uh, I play games, I think, uh, on my phone. The games I have are really chill. Like, I have Animal Restaurant, which is just a restaurant you try and uh, collect all the recipes and feed animals that come into your restaurant and then design your restaurant. And then recently, uh, a friend shared a another game. It's just basically my most of my games are tap games. Um, Hungry Hearts Two. We, I did I did play Hungry Hearts One before. Um, but yeah, it's a sad ending. Even Hungry Hearts Two has a sad ending. And now I've started Perfect Tales, which I it's, I think it's pretty much like uh, my thoughts to me, but uh, the artwork is a lot more computer and a lot more pastel. The all oh, actually the artwork pretty much looks like what animal um, animal restaurant is. I think they have the same. Is it animal restaurant? Yeah. I think they have the same artist because the first cat you will ever get in um, Perfect Tail is named Gumi, and pretty much the same name of the chef in Animal Restaurant. Games on Shopee kind of relaxes me. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it doesn't really though. Um, what else? Sleep. Um, I don't have candles right now, but lighting up a candle and keeping it lit, and especially if it's aromatic, um, helps as well. But I, I avoid trying to lit light one candle and then try to sleep because them. And that's a recipe for disaster. I think that's about it. I don't want to take too long, you guys. Uh, 
Thank you for listening to another podcast of Noise in Phil's Head. Um, we do have another question coming in. Uh, I, I'm still thinking of the other questions that we're going to have. Because I think I have another question that we could share for next week. But we will need more questions after that, I think. Because uh, this would be episode... What episode is this anyway? I haven't... Uh, am I episode 9? I, I don't even remember. The last episode would definitely be episode 10. This is going to be episode 11. 12. Oh, I just need one more question. So we could end. And then we'll, we'll be able to end um, season 3. Thank you guys for joining another Noise in Till Ted. Um, please do follow my socials. Uh, it's Silverfire on um, Facebook, um, IG, Twitter, and then on YouTube, it's just Silverfire. But if you want to leave comments and suggestions, definitely leave them on the comment section below. Um, please do like and share um, topics that you want to talk about. Please let me know in the comment section and once we pick that, we will definitely. I will definitely um, attribute that question to you because it's not my content. Thank you for sharing the idea. Uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for joining another episode in Noise and Tell Ted. Um, suggestions are always open. Uh, are accepted. Always open. What do you mean? Um, suggestions are always welcome. Um, please do like and subscribe, and, um, <laughs> is this how you guys want to hear me, though? I want suggestions, like, I, I feel like this sounds good in my head, but I don't know how it's going to come out in, um, the podcast when I edit it, so, uh, but yeah. Thank you for joining, and I hope you have a good weekend. And, um...